This contest is set for one fall two. with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Johannesburg, race. South Africa, weighing 93 kilograms on Helico. Well, Taz, a very interesting matchup here where we have two primarily tag team competitors facing off in singles competition. Yeah, and, and two ring veterans, two guys that are just ultra talented, different styles, very different styles, but yeah, great point, Excalibur. Two tag team specialists for sure. Yeah, and Helico, a master of the uh, the Yaveo style of... Uh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, he's, he's Suave Bola. I mean, you say Yaveo, I say Suave. <laughs> <laughs> the Mexican submission wrestling style, that is Angelico's specialty, whereas Frankie Kazarian, I would say, a more traditional type of an American wrestler test. Yes, I agree with that. Traditional Americano. Americano! And his opponent, from Southern California, weighing 210 pounds, Frankie Kazarian. You say Americano, I say Los Angelino. Yes. Whoa. So Cal Jones. Yeah, Frankie Kazarian, pretty big pyro. But yeah, he's uh, Frankie's the man to go flat out in the ring, as can Angelico. Dude, you and I were talking before the show started here, this episode of Dark, and we are, we are both excited for this matchup. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting because usually Angelico is, um, you know, he's almost like the, the counterweight to Jack Evans in, right. uh, in his high-flying style. We, we get to see what Angelico, you know, his mastery of submission wrestling kind of in spurts, but it's all in an effort to, uh, you know, kind of enhance Jack Evans' offense. Right, right. Good point. I mean, yeah, I, you know, see, and the thing too, as you know, like uh, someone's gonna have to, you know, you're getting different styles. So no matter what fashion or what, you know, if it's American strong style or Japanese strong style or lucha or whatever, whatever style or catch, whatever these guys are gonna do with each other, you know, I think there is a clash, which makes it really intriguing of a matchup. And Taz, I mean, I think it's academic, but whichever guy is able to bring this match into their comfort zone, I think we'll have a distinct advantage and maybe come away with the win. Agree, agree. You see Kazarian right there getting control of that arm and breaking down Henelico by stepping in the back, the crook of his knee to get Angelico to a knee, and nice uh, counter by Angelico. You can see Angelico bringing that, uh, that wrist of Kazarian very close to Angelico's chest. Real smart how Kazarian looked to see where the rope was, and nice in inside drop toe hold, floats right over and gets himself an arm bar from the opposite side, which is uh, can really put a lot of pressure on the joint. And you saw Kazarian actually, as he transitioned over, he swept his body in front of the ropes to prevent Angelico from uh, reaching for the break. But it looks like Angelico opting to uh, try to maneuver his way out of it does. Drop toe hold there, floats yeah, over. His own drop toe hold, exactly. And a nice counter, quick uh, move, go behind right here. And maybe we want to sit out if you're Kazarian, but I guess Angelico figured he'd do that. He hooked the front headlock, now traps the tricep. Maybe going to tuck him. Yeah, oh, there yeah. you go. Brings That's him it. over, covered lateral press, barely a one count. Great way to turn your pull to the back is just tuck from the tricep with a real deltoid as you pull the head, uh, you know, to maybe get a quick win. You see that a lot in folk style wrestling, uh, you know, high school wrestling, collegiate mm -hmm. wrestling in America, you know, where you can get a quick one count, well, one pin, one slap. It's not three slaps, as most know, mm -hmm. to, the, to the canvas. So that's a good way to get a pin. And Helico, again, with that wrist of Kazarian tied up. The top wrist lock. Top wrist lock. Oh, nice counter. Look at Kazarian. Oh, gets oh, off over. Yeah. Yeah. Drop right there. Sweep of the leg, and Helico covers. Kazarian able to kick out immediately. Swept down on Helico's leg, and he was able to kick out the sweep and the miss. Anticipation there by one half of the first ever AEW World Tag Team Champions, Frankie Kazarian. Yeah, you know, it's, again, both these guys, veterans, and it's smart, Kazarian, what he did right there. Just you don't want to rush in, especially with a guy like in Helico. He's a unique athlete, unique styles. We've talked about a lot, Excal, but you laid it down perfectly. He's a hybrid of different styles, so you don't want to rush into nothing against him. And Helico, of course, a student of one of the foremost practitioners of that Yaveo style, perhaps the inventor, Negro Navarro. Mm. And right here we see using his leg and his foot to bring Kazarian down to his back. And now, oh, ankle locks. He's got the ankle lock yeah. on one leg, and he's got the other one. I believe this is uh, the Navarro Once. Mm. And it's a very difficult style to learn. You know, that style of wrestling, that Uredo style, is very tough. It's definitely great joint manipulation, but they use their legs so much. Look at the confidence of Angelico. It's a very tough style to learn, so I tip my cap to Angelico. 
Bait them in though. Yeah, whereas Kazarian style a lot more physical. Um, you know, using your power, using your strength advantage. But Kazarian, no slouch there. Rolls him up. One, two, whoa. Good quick roll up right there. It goes behind. Go for an O'Connor roll, maybe. Yeah, and he's gonna get it. Waist lock into the pin. One, shoot. Nope. And Helico sends him off. To his feet. Frankie ducks. Has the backslide. Yeah, yeah he's, got, he's it. got it hooked. Deep stack. One, two, no. Definitely was deep and look like oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This thing's gonna get a little physical here because then Helico wanted, <laughs> wanted a timeout. But you know, he called timeout, but he never dipped his body out like he did there, right? So you can't play. Oh! oh! Referee never saw that one. Sucker punch across the jaw. The referee's vision was obscured. And Angelico takes advantage in driving that left shoulder of Kazarian into the top turnbuckle. Yeah, you know, very sneaky, but yet, you know, slick tactics by Angelico. Great timing on his part to get himself a snap mare and maybe he'll work on that shoulder or just stomp the guy. Yeah, it looked like on the front deltoid area of that left shoulder. And now wrapping up the legs of Kazarian and Helico. Oh, wow, look at this. Putting pressure on the knees, the inside, the adductor muscles. And oh, wow, now transitioning. Almost into a ground octopus hole, but he's got the legs all tied up of Kazarian. Yeah, it's impossible, really, to, to get. I mean, it's tough. You can't, it's tough to break a grip, so you got to hope your opponent breaks his own grip, and that's what Angelico did. And look how seamlessly Angelico is transitioning from submission hold to submission hold. Yeah, utilizing his legs so well as weapons does Angelico, and he's got such long legs. Yeah, he's rangy. He's got reach. Sure does. Oh, oh. He, he kind of took the pressure off a little bit. Kazarian, you know, he caught him. Big right hands there by Kazarian and Helico. Shot to the midsection. Irish whip into the ropes. Whoa, 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 schoolboy. Here we go. Kazarian rolls him up. Only a two count. It's quick right oh. oh, beautiful running back elbow right there by Angelico. And Angelico deceptively strong, deceptively powerful. We, we mentioned his range, but I mean, he can, he can strike with the best of them. Lateral press there. Yeah, no, he can. He's got a lot of poise, too, does Angelico. You know, and it's... Like, you know, you pointed out at the top of this match, just uh, paraphrasing what you said, but it's, it's not often you see him in a singles matchup or Kazarian. So, it's, it's again, this is this is a treat. This is pretty cool right here, these two cats. And Helico versus steps through, rolls nice. in, Kazarian. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Almost like a single leg crab, but he's got the... Exactly. The, well, he had himself a single leg and then rolled him into just clasping his hands and just pulling that knee joint into each other. The knee joint, and he's got such a deep hook on it, it's almost pulling on the quad of Kazarian as well. Yeah, he just, and Helico is just awesome at dissecting the man's lower body, which you have no base, you have nothing. And no matter how tall a guy is either, if you work on that lower body well enough, you just you eliminate, you know, he's you know, drop him to the mat. And you see Angelica was stomping the shoulders of Kazarian too, so it's almost kind of kind of like dealer's choice. Yeah. Angelico could go after the, the upper body or the lower body of Kazarian at either time. It's uh it's a tough defensive position to be in, Taz. Well, no, you're right, man. And that's the thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh Kazarian lands to his feet. Big right hands. Two, three consecutive shots to the jaw of Angelico. Switch and Kazarian comes back, takes Angelico off his feet and chops him down with the back elbow. And the drop kick for good measure. Excellent momentum built quickly by Frankie Kazarian. Just dropping Angelico left him right here. Scooped him up. Plain old fashioned body slam right there. And now Kazarian coming off the middle rope, leg drop. Crashing down. Here we go. Here we go. Far leg. No. Nip and tuck right here. Neither man wants to give anything. They don't want to give an inch. And we, just, I'm sorry, continue. We were seeing uh, Angelico taking control, like as we alluded to, Taz. He, he was wrestling his kind of his match. And now Kazarian with more physicality. Nice counter. Maybe counter. Oh, whoa, look at that nice sweep. Oh, Missed it though. Wow. Stepped Damn. up, caught him with that. And Gary inside well, cradle. Yeah, he's got One, it. two, no. So quick with that cradle, with that small package. Very well done by Angelico. And he staggered him with that on, almost capoeira style yeah. kick from the mat. Kazarian charges in, nobody home. Oh! Just like a shin it. across the spine of Kazarian. And Kazarian lost, losing his cool a little bit. He's got to try and keep that, you know, keep his head right here. And now Angelico is positioning oh. Kazarian on. Ooh. Maybe looking for the, the BT bomb. Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain Jones, buddy. Wait a minute. Nope. Frankie. Whoa, whoa, able he to reverse. Him. Kept his balance. Oh, oh! Right on the head. Just dropped him flat. One, two, three. FCU. The winner of this match, Frankie Kazarian.
Frankie Kazarian with that big reverse DDT two weeks in a row, Taz. Yeah. Picking up impressive victories here on AEW Dark. Yeah, it's a quick way to drop some. Watch the replay. I want you to watch it. Hell of head, ladies and gentlemen. Roxy kicks his balance, does Kazarian, and bam, right on the back of his skull. Yeah, Another angle. Look at that. Steps into it and just flattens his opponent, Frankie Kazarian of SCU, victorious here tonight. He was willing to risk it all. I'm Chris Jericho, and I am all in! the first AEW World Champion. The man continues to reinvent himself. For the most powerful faction in professional wrestling today. We are the inner circle, baby. And Mastermind, one of the most talked about matches of the decade. The stadium stampede match. Now, the Demo God is ready to reveal the most anticipated rematch of the summer. The Mimosa Mayhem match. Revenge is better served freshly squeezed. AEW presents All Out, live, Saturday, September 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on pay-per-view.